everybody, Morgan's Maintenance. That's Morgan with a PhD in maintenance. And I decided today I wanted to do a, a quick video. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, but I've been watching all the deals on toolboxes for Black Friday, which is when I bought one of these a couple years ago, got a good deal on that. But I wanted to show you guys uh, some of the things that I like to do for storage and I think it's very affordable because a toolbox like this I paid I want to say $300 for and that was when it was on sale of course it's one of the deeper ones and they have their place I mean if you're going to have hand tools and I'm doing this without a tripod so I hope it's not going to make y'all sick but you know you got hand tools or things like that and this is my office not my garage in the in the city that I work in so I don't have a as many tools here as what I've got at home but hand tools uh you know different different bits and things that you can keep in here small things these work great for that but if i wanted to store big things i don't have an option inside of this and we have way more tools and supplies as a maintenance person or a construction person or a trades person than just small hand tools and I want to recommend to you these lateral file cabinets. I like them for many reasons. One is I bought this one for 50 bucks and I bought that one for 50 bucks. So that's a hundred dollars for two storage compartments that are solidly made. Uh, each drawer holds a lot of weight. I mean, they're meant to hold paper files uh, like these that are solid in there. And you know how much paper weighs. So you, so you have the capability to store more things in those and I could buy six of them for the price of what I spent on these. Now, I found them on Facebook Marketplace. I guess I need to say that. You go buy these things new, you're looking at the same amount as what you'd spend for a, a toolbox. So, so look on Facebook Marketplace, see if you can find these. And I'd even recommend these inside of tool trailers. Uh, they would be good because... They lock up here at the top and it would keep them from being able to open and close. I mean, you can't build anything out of wood and buy drawer slides or anything like that for $50. Or even if you spent $100 on one of these, I think you're getting a good deal. Uh, and, and the fact that they're metal helps out a lot. I like that because uh, you can buy all sorts of different magnets uh, and things like that to hold stuff. Like right here, I've got my 48 inch and my 24 inch digital stabilo levels uh i went and found a magnet and just put a bolt through it and now i've got little hangers to hang my but if i don't like this setup say i'm working on things it's a whole lot more movable because i can now move just pull magnets off they're not attached permanently or anything like that same thing on this side i've got a nut driver set uh parts bin a paper towel holder this is magnetic uh, they sell all sorts of things that are magnetic and then i want you to also real quick look at look at how much stuff you can fit inside of these drawers uh and then these are the things that i'm saying it's hard to find storage for this kind of stuff uh, in this one bin i've got extra my extra veto bags uh, so if i need them i've got these and then my extra atlas 46 pouches for my uh, saratoga vest that i have uh, then i've got you've got room to store complete tools in here this is my m12 bandsaw my bosch 12 volt planer my m12 3 8 stubby uh, my m12 pin nailer all these things fit inside of those drawers uh, all that in there and now if it's in a garage and i've got a table saw which i've got the same setup at home and i like these at home too the sawdust isn't getting in there all over everything uh all the time if you just got open shelves everything in your whole garage gets covered in sawdust if you do any kind of woodworking then inside of this drawer so here's another setup i'd like to show you because these drawers are really deep uh probably if i had to guess close to a foot probably 10 10 to 11 inches and i've got these rubber made totes that i picked up at lowe's the lips of them fit right on this the hangers that the file folders would hang on so I'm able to have two layers in here. These these sit on there, and if I need to get to this middle, I push one to the side, 
if I need to get to this side, I pull that one to the middle. This side, pull them all that way. I'm able to have all kinds of, here's bandsaw blades, oscillating tool blades, uh, my hip vac filters. You know, all these are things that, you know, you have to store somewhere. Where are you going to put them? I could take this whole drawer and it would fill up probably this whole toolbox because of the way that the drawers are set up. In case you can't tell, I'm a Louisville fan. But in, in this drawer, I've got everything I need for saws, drill bits, uh, all those kinds of things like that. Just things that I have to store somewhere. Uh, and then I have to be able to keep those uh, where, wherever I can keep them. Then in the top drawer, same thing. Uh, I just take plywood and, you know, again, it's going to be hard for me to get a lot of these pictures uh, because it's, it's, it's a hard angle to get to. I wish I had some other way to hold my phone, but uh, electrical supplies, H, H, just, you know, I've got an extra one of these. What am I going to keep that for until I need it? It's, it's in here in my drawer. I keep spare electrical parts, uh, you know, piggyback tandem breakers uh toilet bowl or toilet uh bolt covers uh mc cable connectors you know i've got a box of these i've got to keep them somewhere uh wago connectors uh, smoke smoke detector covers uh all kinds of things that you can store and then over here in this one and i'm just showing you again just quickly just to give you an idea same thing you know i got all my tapes uh my door studs and i'm hoping the next time i install a door i'll try to do a video using these these things are phenomenal if you work by yourself it they're almost a, a must uh, painting supplies i got all my paint roller covers paint brushes caulk gun different caulks spackling uh respirator cleaning supplies for whenever I'm done working, different things. And again, 50 bucks, all that stuff stored for 50 bucks inside somewhere away from dust and it looks clean. You don't have stuff showing up everywhere. You can attach stuff to it. So, you know, you don't have to spend $400 on some tool storage. Get on Facebook Marketplace, look and see what you can find. And again, I think these lateral file cabinets are awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you do for tool storage if it's something different that's different than what normal people use. Uh, that, that you can share that with those comments down below. I hope to have some how-to videos coming up pretty soon. I really haven't been doing anything interesting. I'm not going to just make a video about something just to do it. Uh, so I, I, I only want to put up videos that I think would be beneficial to somebody. But... Let me know down in the comments, those of you that have watched the few videos that I put out, what are the things that you guys are into? What is it that you do for a living? Uh, that way I got a better idea of who might be watching my videos. If I come across a work order that I think would be interesting, I'll try to make a video and see how that goes. But I hope you all have a blessed day. Everybody stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next video.